Hello there, Pierre Rupé here. This is a Ford Edge and this Ford Edge has a dead misfire, which means that there is one cylinder that's not contributing to the operation of the engine at all. Misfires can be caused by different systems. It could be fuel related, fuel system related, ignition system, or a mechanical issue. But in this case, we know what it is. It is an ignition coil. Let's take a look at the codes. As you can see, I have P0355 stored for ignition coil E primary slash secondary circuit DTC severity 203 and this fault may pose damage to components that's a true statement what I want you to see here is coil E instead of giving you a cylinder number it says it's coil E and if you're gonna be looking for stuff on the internet if you don't have service information you're gonna be looking for a while because you're gonna be like wait what's what's coil E for why is coil E well, it is typical for Ford to assign a letter to the coils instead of saying which cylinder is misfiring. This is normal, but if you take a look at the code number, the P0355, the, 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 the number 5 in there, the last number that tells you which cylinder number is misfiring. A random misfire would end by 300, which means that it is a random misfire. A random misfire means that the computer system has no idea which cylinder number is misfiring. Therefore, it assigns it as a random misfire. But in this case, this misfire is pinpointed to cylinder 5. And if it were cylinder 6, it would give you a coil number, which I'm not sure which number, to, I mean, which a coil letter. I don't know which coil letter it would give you but it would give you a number at the end and that number would, would end by six, then you would know it's cylinder six that's misfiring. Since the last number of the P05, V0355 reveals it's the fifth cylinder that's misfiring, I went ahead and replaced that coil. And of course, um, if you have bank one and bank two, if it's, if it's a V engine, bank one was closest to the firewall and bank two was the one towards the front of the engine. So that would be, you need to count from there, um, the way I'm showing right now with my hands. So um, that's what you need to do. Um, this diagram is fairly easy to find on the internet to know the diagram of the engine, bank one and bank two. And bank one is typically where cylinder one is. And you continue counting from there. Remember that every car is different. What I'm showing right now may, might, may not be the case for your vehicle. So you need, you need to research your vehicle and see which diagram fits yours. But in this case, I hope this video helped you out. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.